Thank you very much indeed. And it has been a real pleasure to, to be here this morning to listen to the range of innovations across the universities here in Ireland. It really is inspiring. As I was introduced, I'm part of the 10 team in Maynooth. We're the Transformative Engagement Network. And over the last three years or so, we've been involved in uh, working with universities in Africa, in Zambia and Malawi, around issues of climate change and food security, around trying to change the, the me methods and mechanisms of engagement with vulnerable communities who have most to suffer from, from losses of food security with climate change. So our masters, our project speaks to a number of the grand challenges for higher education. And we need to think about transition and how we can begin to inform it. We live in a world characterized by change, unprecedented global change from environmental, economic, and sociological perspectives. One of the common characteristics about contemporary change <coughs> is that we can begin to characterize it as wicked problems. And wicked problems are those that are extremely complex, that tend to move across boundaries, spatial boundaries, environmental boundaries, and that generate feedbacks among social, economic, and environmental spheres that can create deep uncertainties in terms of how we can begin to approach them and begin to manage them. And they also create deep and ethical and moral questions. And at local levels begin to challenge us about what are the obvious solutions, the appropriate responses that are often contested. So within our project, we have begun to ask those questions. And in doing so, we have to move beyond disciplinary perspectives to begin to embrace ideas of interdisciplinarity, of beginning to integrate the insights and lessons that can be learned from multiple disciplines and bringing them together to think about uh, the, the roles, the integration of ideas, experimentation, different types of evaluations of learning that can provide graduates with the skills for dealing with complexity and change in uh, the modern environment. A second grand challenge that requires transition is the dominance of Western epistemologies and Western knowledge in how we deal with global scale problems. Northern epistemologies and science, technology tend to dominate the kinds of responses that are put forward in terms of responding to global change. And that's despite the fact that many of the most vulnerable are far removed from science. They're much closer to culture and have different ways of knowing that are important to integrate into the kinds of learning that we develop in order to develop sustainable solutions over the longer term. So in meeting these challenges and against that, uh, that backdrop, we have developed an, inter an international interdisciplinary masters on transformative community development. And that masters seeks to bring together knowledge from different disciplines of beginning to move beyond the ivory tower to properly engage with communities, to give them a voice in the types of learning that we try to produce. In terms of developing the masters, we developed our project on partnership, partnership across multiple scales, a partnership that recognized the value of different ways of knowing that different disciplines and different people bring, partnerships that recognized uh, collaboration among institutions that recognize the value of different disciplines, integrating disciplines like geography, adult and community education, sociology, biology, hydrology, and land use management, to create an interactive uh, masters, around, an integrated or interdisciplinary masters around climate change and food security with communities, to begin to develop the flows of knowledge, the flows of information that make the voices of the most vulnerable important in our learning. And critically in moving towards those partnerships was the identification of communities of practice by each of our African partner universities. They identified communities of smallholder farmers, those that are vulnerable to climate change and food security, to build and scaffold our learning around. Our students were not traditional students, they were those who worked with communities in different, in different guises, agents, for example, of government, of national and local government, those who work with national and local non-governmental organisations, with the idea that these students would become our agents of transformation, going back to their workplaces, working with these communities and putting in place the pedagogies of transformative learning to enact long-term and sustainable change. Our masters was developed on blended learning. In the first year, our students undertook uh, courses on Moodle that were developed across the disciplines through collaboration and interaction across academics from each of our partners. And coupled with that blended online experience were on-site discussions that their function was to ground learning within the experience and the lived realities of communities. 
In the second year, students then went on to think about the research topics that had to be based on demonstrating interdisciplinary skills, that had required them to integrate or to <coughs> engage with communities in a meaningful way, and often most important, to begin to think about and critique their own ways of working with vulnerable communities. And our project had multiple, multiple outcomes of interest. For example, we assessed or evaluated learning outcomes and identified, for example, that most of our students experienced uh, transformative learning outcomes, shifting worldviews, changing the ways in which our learners acted and engaged with communities. And one example of one of the reflections made by our students, I have in a quote here, who is a, an agricultural extension worker. On reflecting about the course, this student identified that my participation in this program has made me appreciate that within any community there's a wealth of knowledge and experience, which if harnessed can be used to change communities for the better. I've come to realise that members of communities are assets, not problems. They have answers to the problems they face. Those problems faced in communities can best be solved by community dwellers themselves. And she now sees her role as enabling people in communities to act together to find solutions to their problems so that it can, they can achieve their desired goals. For communities themselves, the outcomes were very tangible. Increased levels of linkages with local universities that provided a voice or a mechanism through which the needs of the most vulnerable could integrate or interact with policymakers at national and international levels. For the academics ourselves, of course, there are important, uh, important outcomes. Engaging in a project like this requires risk-taking, requires being open to new knowledge, and requires engaging with people beyond the ivory tower, moving out of our comfort zones. But if we are, or have the challenge or the courage to do that, the level of engagement of deep learning that can happen for the academic is extremely important. And finally, for our universities themselves, the linkages that have been developed are sustaining and long-lasting, both for Maynooth and for our, our colleagues in Zambia and Malawi. In terms of the capacities that have been developed in learning in different ways, and finally, in terms of the friendships that have been developed over the course of the project. Thank you very much.